Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. Behind me is an IS series base frame for a Shop Saber CNC and it's sitting on a 5 axis aerospace mill. Now let's talk about machining. You'll hear me use the concept of machine tool grade CNC router often in our videos and I want to really explain what that is. It starts with how you actually machine the frame itself. In our case, we're using a five axis aerospace mill that has a work envelope large enough to make our largest frame. Well, what are we really machining? Well, typically we're machining where the precision components mount. So for instance, we're machining where we mount precision contour guide rails because that machining actually determines the accuracy of the guide rail itself. And, and similarly, we're also machining surface mounts for things like the ball screw mounts, and that's how everything lines up. And the beauty of all of this is that once you do it in a single setup, the machine has the accuracy of the mill that you're making it on. You know, another important part of, of this process is also the holes, drilling and tapping the holes that are, that are used to mount those precision components. And it really starts out with drilling. So you drill the hole first, which becomes the pilot hole, for actually uh, uh, later tapping. The beauty of this also, this is all done under ISO 9001 certification, so the quality of the machining work that's done on this is really second to none. Now, the next thing after I drill the holes, and I typically want to uh, deburr them, and that's done with a countersink, and, and basically it's a shallow cut, and it really serves two purposes. One of the things it does is it deburrs the holes, and it also creates a, a, a little chamfer in it, and that makes the tap easy to, easier to start, so it makes, it makes that process much, much simpler. Now, once you have all the holes drilled, then it's time to tap them. Once again, the machine does that. It takes the tap, it turns it clockwise, and then backs it back out. Does that on all the holes, and once again, all of those holes line up perfect when you put the guide rails on. Now, our preliminary machining's done. The final thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create those surfaces that the guide rails mount on. That's done with a special tool, and this, determine, this process right here determines the accuracy of the machine. Our attention to machining details at Shop Saber CNC really puts our machine to a grade CNC routers in a class of machines that typically cost two or three times as much. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really wanted to dig into what's involved in doing real precision machining, which is really required on a CNC router. You know, you can say, okay, I've got this kind of frame, I've got these parts. The missing link is always the machining. And if a competitor can't match this, their machines can't compete with us. If you have any questions, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.